all righty ladies and gentlemen boys and girls oh rather i gotta redo that intro real quick all right you trash blazers you pieces of filth welcome back to another honkai star rail playthrough session i apologize for the aggressiveness there i just had to make sure you guys knew how much i value you as viewers we are back we are picking up where we left off with honkai star rail we just made it through i would say like a pretty chunky part of the story progression with bronya and zila and rivet town and getting to see a little bit of clara in there getting some major characterization for Bronia's backstory of realizing that she was an orphan adopted by Mama Cacolia and brought up to the overworld to uh, become the next successor of hers with being the supreme leader of Bellabog, which is something that I was really happy that I called relatively early with a little bit of context clues that we got from the Cacolia cutscene and then Bronia's first reaction to the underworld like orphanage settlement. So that's all been really exciting. I completely forgot about Chief Oleg and the whole situation in the underworld that we have to kind of talk about leading into everything else that's going to develop we just got our e6 natasha i think i have a couple more quests that i have to do before i start unlocking some of the more prominent features or functions of the game being the remaining worlds of the simulated universe my cap on my trailblazer level and things of that nature so we are going to try to make it just a little bit further so i can kind of unlock those and then i can pivot to those other avenues of content and then we can move forward also I went the wrong way. He is actually right here. Oh my God, my friends, we're back. It's been so long. Hey, they're finally back. Yeah, I know, right? Sorry for the unannounced disappearance. <laughs> That's nothing. The unannounced disappearance record holder is right here. Oh yeah, that is true. March literally disappears on the freaking Astral Express and then like no one knows where she goes. <laughs> and that something to be proud of. <laughs> I love them. Uh, it's good to have everyone back together. That's hilarious. Let me get straight to it. Regarding the Stellaron and your predicament in the overworld, your friends have gone over both with me again. Mm. The last time I saw Kakolia, she was an impressive young lady. I never thought that after becoming the Guardian, all I can say is that I sympathize with your situation. Wildfire won't go behind your back on this. Okay. Your plan sounds a bit like the ravings of a drunken miner. But <laughs> at least you're offering a road forwards. We underworlders haven't had a road to anywhere for a long time now. And you can see how things have become. I'm willing to give you guys a shot. Okay. Don't worry, Mr. Oleg. We'll make sure you don't regret it. I also want to say for that exchange right there with Oleg talking, March 7th went through like multiple facial expression changes. And I really like how that's just a thing that happens with the characters. Don Hung, don't mind him. He's just a very like stoic individual. The same expression throughout. Ravings of a drunken miner is a little harsh. Uh, maybe it is, but I think we need to set our sights on something a bit more realistic. You guys want to know the whereabouts of the Stellaron. Wildfire wants to remove the restrictions on the underworld. Hey, look at that. In other words, Svarog is the target of both our efforts. If we can't deal with the boss, no! we can't deal with anything. Oh no, we're not gonna have to fight Mr. Svarog, are we? Let's go take him down. No, I don't, I actually don't wanna take down Mr. Svarog. I wouldn't be able to live with myself if Clara wouldn't have Mr. Svarog. We need to find a way to bring him over to ours. Yeah, I like that better. He wouldn't understand. You're forgetting he's a robot. It'd be faster to smash him to scrap metal. Okay, let's not. We should make preparations for both approaches. Of course, it's better to settle matters through peaceful means. No! If the situation changes, we must be prepared for armed conflict at a moment's notice. If shit goes down, I'm just gonna plead ignorant. I'm just gonna be like, I don't know these people. I'm just here looking for a Stellaron. I'll let Mr. Svarog handle his business. Wildfire has tried many times to make contact with Svarog without success. He has no intention of engaging with us. At our current strength, it would be incredibly dangerous to use force. Svarog's robots don't fear sacrifice. <laughs> And I don't want to risk underworld lives. <laughs> They're robots. I don't think they can comprehend fear. But things have changed. Your arrival constitutes an external variable for Svarok. I may not have the full picture. Perhaps you guys have an opportunity to sway him. Yeah, if we collect the Stellaron and it fixes the freeze, then that's like an unforeseeable calculation for Mr. Svarog. So that could work out. That would be best. <laughs> Along nicely. <laughs> Executing fear, I EXE. I fear that Svarog just isn't the swaying type. You'll understand when you get to his territory. Oh. Things never run smoothly down Is here. it the robot place? That area we weren't able to go to. What about you, Miss Silvermane? Mm. You're the only one here that isn't compelled to do or die with Svarog. 
I'd like to hear your plan. Okay. Well, the underworld is still a part of Bellabog. If Sparag's existence constitutes a threat to the people here, I will of course stand with you. Right, I mean, that makes sense, but I'm just thinking of Clara. <laughs> Excellent. An enlightened answer, young lady. And spoken like a true successor to the guardianship. Hell yeah. Seeing as we're all on the same side, there's no reason to delay. All right. Let's go. I've arranged for a guide to take you to Svarog. Oh boy, we're going to Svarog's home. Wait, you're not coming? Wildfire's relationship with Svarog has been hostile for a long time now. Yeah. Accompanying you would only lead to misunderstandings. Mm -hmm. We'll be nearby, awaiting orders. If things go south, we'll be there in no time. Zila, perhaps you can take our outsider friends the rest of the way. Mm, I'm on it, boss. All right. Oh, Mr. Svarog, please listen to reason. Oh, look who it is. Sampo Koski. Wait, I'm I'm pretty sure that was a text from Sampo. Who, that, Julian, how'd you get my number? What the heck? Hello, hello, anyone? <laughs> how do I use this thing? Send all, what's that supposed to? Wait, what the heck? Who is this again? What? Someone actually replied. Are you a real person or a bot? Anyways, listen, I'm Julian, chief intelligence officer of the... <laughs> Okay, sir. Chief Intelligence Officer of the Moles. We need some extra help right now. If you're free, come find me at the entrance of the Great Mines. Wait a minute. Hook story quest? Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Here it is. Sam Pokoski, my boy. Murder of birds, my hero. I finally got hold of you. You must save me. Oh, my God. What do you mean? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'll troll him. <laughs> Sorry, your message cannot be sent. Cannot be sent? Does that even work? When you have a second, meet me at the Great Minds, my valuable patron. Every second matters. My life is in your hands, friend. So this is a world quest. Survival wisdom. Hook, you. Okay. This I really wasn't expecting. Hello, you. So, the moles are a part of wildfire. <laughs> uh, that's right. It's me, Pitch Dark. Damn, they're just like recruiting children to their efforts now. <laughs> Kiddo, I think there's been a misunderstanding. Oh, Sampo! I thought you I needed help. Your guide, friends, by order of Chief Oleg. What a freaking scammer, dude. This man just texted me. He's like, I need help. My life is in danger. You look fine. I gotta say I'm a little upset at the thought of you choosing a toddler over your old buddy Sampo. Okay. All right, all right. Don't get started. But I want to ask you something. Everyone in Wildfire knows the location of Svarog's lair. Oh. Why do we need you as a guide? Yeah. Uh, my specialty's in the field, perhaps. Ooh. Wildfire may know where the base is, but have they ever been inside? Okay. You've been inside? No. <laughs> but I felt my way around the outside and picked up more than a few clues. Okay. I can help you. You have my word. Hook is just here like, what am I doing here? <laughs> yeah, let's hope you can hey, walk the talk. what are you trying talk. to say? Name me someone above or below ground that walks the talk like Sampo Koski. Sampo Koski. My legacy will prove that Sampo Koski was nothing but a willing and devoted servant of- Is your name Scott? <laughs> Do you have a wife and child that you like abandoned for this job? Oh, enough. Jeez, we believe you, okay? Show us the way already. Great. Stay close. I love how Hook was just here for no reason whatsoever. Oh, Sampo, are we there yet? <gasps> Do you have to ask every other minute, Missy? Uh, two more steps, just two more steps, and you're there. We made it. I think we're here, gamers. This is Sparog's lair? I thought it'd be cold and lifeless. Yeah, this place looks kind of... pretty busy. Many vagrants are staying here temporarily. Their homes were overrun by monsters. Isn't it dangerous for them to make camp right Right under Svarog's metal nose? <laughs> no. Svarog may be ruthless, but he never attacks without reason. Mm. For those with no home, this is actually a safe place to be. If I hadn't moved away when I did, I'd probably be where they are right now. Them. Open the gate to Svarog's base. All right, you know what? I don't know. I'm still contemplating if this is even a good idea. Oh my God, is that Perkins? You good? All right, you know what? You don't attack me, I won't attack you. Let me listen to this guy real quick. Hey, you need help? What's going on? Hold still. You're nearly fixed. Damn. My design has been superseded by newer models. No! My components are no longer valuable. Damn, they're like, uh, the latest version of me is out. You no longer need me. Hey, what are you talking about? 
I'm not interested in selling your components. Alas, this place is a bit of a mixed bag. Plenty of characters. Keep your wits about you, friends. Yeah. Don't let anyone deceive you. It's all good. We've had you for practice. Uh, I was about to say. You know, Missy, you sure know how to bear a grudge. Yo, yo, listen up. This one's for all you pretend rappers. Oh, okay. I already hate this. <laughs> I already don't want to do this. Internal combustion engine champion, 88 degrees bedrock. Repping the dawn of the underworld rap. Here's something to wake up your soul. Check it. All right, you know what? I'm a big fan of rap, so hopefully they don't fumble the bag on this one. I hope this isn't cringe-inducing. Light of the moon of a city of snow. Kid down below gazing up all alone. Oh. Hold up. Silence, dismay. How to make sense of this vision the great you to protect, her to defend, queen of oblivion, lies with no end. Child born and bred of the underworld dog. Keep him and home far apart. Life, death, and honor, the struggle persists. Finding his parents a solitary wish. Crackling flame, flickering light. And now he escapes in the dead of the night. Sickness and hunger forever pursuing him, gritting his teeth, leaves a city behind. Scraping of cloth. Yo, what the hell? Lin Ten hears a feet. Don't make a sound with your breath till it's over. Heart pounding, don't let the panic take over. How of the wind, silvery light. Hold on the sanity, keep up the fight, never blizzard descends. I start to close the voices of family lost of the snow another bella buck night the hate the last just what the hell is yeah. this a gaze cold as ice while the world passes by how long is this gonna go for this is incredible the, the vagrant is spitting the fire rhymes <laughs> On his face, one last smile, a sign the sun always rises. Yeah, yeah. Holy shit. Yo, she's cooking. Jesus Christ. Damn, this guy's just like in awe right now. He's like, yo, facts. <laughs> Let's cycle back over here. I'm just double checking if there's any. Oh, speak of the devil. Please don't tell me this is yours because I'm taking it. <laughs> See ya. Okay, it looks like we have everything now. Mr. Sparog, please don't kill me. What a heavy gate. Okay, watch this. Hmm. Open sesame. <laughs> SpongeBob moment. <laughs> well, I did all I could do. <laughs> it doesn't open. <laughs> to, to open sesame. <laughs> it's an imaginary password that children like to use. The important thing is you tried, March 7th. How about those clues of yours? I was just about to get into those before Miss March's colorful attempt. <laughs> Luckily for us, I've already figured out the mechanism for this gate. It's right behind you. Just let any Joe Schmo in and out of Boss Farog's territory. I mean, if you want to see the big cheese himself, you need certification. A uh, certification? Correct. Only prospectors with the right certification can get in. Oh, or out. those robots. These prospectors collect mechanical remnants from all over the underground and then bring them to Svarog for him to repair. Honestly, it's a very profitable little venture. Mm -hmm. if only I'd beaten them to it. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be calling me Sempo Bosky by now. Jesus. Okay, sir. Wait, does that mean Koski's not your last name? Is your name Scott? What's going on? A timeout. Where do we get this certification? Oh, well, that's simple. You see the robots? Yeah, the little robots the around. Vagrants? Yeah. They're all Sforog scouts. Every one of them is commanded to maintain order here. Apart from Hello them again. keeping a watchful eye on these hooligans, another one of their duties is processing. Mm. Anyone who wants to become a prospector has to pass a test from these walking stoplights first. Uh, yeah. I wonder if the broken one is important to this. What's the test? Not a clue. <laughs> I never had the urge to go on a Svarug suicide mission before. You guys are the ones that want in. Why not go and ask the robots? I think I saw Gachapon as one of those options, and I'm like, uh-oh. It feels like the people here are all under the supervision of robots. Yeah. This would be unthinkable on the surface. Robots are merely tools in the overworld. Don't take Svarog as an ordinary robot. Yeah. He's Svarog is special. so freaking cool. I love him. He's got the drip of a century, too. Like, just that coat. This has to be one of them, right? Yep. It looks so lame. Uh. Is it even awake in there? Maybe it's broken down. Beep boop. <laughs> That scared me. <laughs> Protocol initiating, scanning, verifying, certification failure. Subject has yet to obtain uh -oh. access permissions. Launching processing. Huh? Are we starting now? Are we getting tested? Launching stage one processing. Please listen to the following question. Uh oh. Okay. Who is the reigning champion of the internal combustion engine wrap tournament? That girl! Infernal construction, what now? Hey, it was the rapper How next to me! How we know anything about that? Yo, she just went in! Sampo, do you know the answer? Sampo Gasky always knows the... Wait, uh... Damn. What did it say again? 
Uh, aren't you supposed to be dependable? Well, I don't know everything. Sometimes mm. you gotta ask around if you want to know the answer. Oh, no. Don't. Let's listen in to what the vagrants are talking Oh, come on. Please answer the following question. Who is the reigning champion of the internal combustion engine wrap tournament? Oh, did she say her name? That's uh, 88 degrees bedrock. Yeah, that's that. Correct. Yes. Answer. I was actually paying attention. Let's go. Uh, was that a lucky guess? No! <gasps> Did you go to a music festival without us? Damn, March 7th. Has no respect for rappers, confirmed. Certification results, success. Requisite certification. Hell yeah. To please extend your right hand. My right hand? Here you go. <clears throat> Why is this part of the... Oh, hey, hey, ow, ow, ow! <laughs> So this is the certification mark? Great. Only two more steps to go. Let's move. So, uh, we got stamped. We're probably going to have to listen into some of these other NPCs then. No, no, no. You can't insert the microcrystalline unit into the heat sink substrate like that. Yeah, you idiot. How do you know? Balloway from Miner's Lamp said that you need to pay attention to the interfaces when assembling relics. To make this thing move again, we need to connect the microcrystalline unit to the operating brake module. Otherwise, it's just a pile of scrap metal. I'm trying to figure out what's going to be the important factor here. Microcrystalline unit to the operation brake module, perhaps? If you believe a word that senile idiot Balloway says, you're done for. The last time he acted on his own advice, he electrocuted himself. <laughs> you should be asking people with real smarts. No one is better at fixing machines than Marev. I saw him connecting a microcrystalline conductor unit to a logic control hub to get a vibrating drill to work. Okay. Marev? Him and his brother wouldn't know a real relic if it hit him in the face. Last I heard, he got scammed by someone selling counterfeit junk. Hey, Sampo! <laughs> uh, you're just salty, my friend. Nah, Sampo's like, yeah, that was an easy one right there. I remember that. My god, there's so many NPC interactions. Okay, hold on. Did you see those extra boxes of medical supplies at the depot? Who brought those over? Clara, I assume. <gasps> I can't think of anyone else that'd do something that generous. Hmm. <laughs> Who's Clara? What? Is she one of us? You better learn who Clara is. Not even close. She's Farog's trusted family. Family of a robot? Well, you'll understand when you've been here a while longer. Hmm. I love Clara. She's so sweet. All right, hello. Did you hear? Those idiots got into a fight in the mine. <laughs> It only got settled after Boss Farag showed up. Only Boss Farag can protect us down here. Everyone should follow his lead. Well, what do you think? Cat mm. got your tongue? Do you ever talk about anything else? <laughs> I'm so tired of hearing about Svarog. Damn, Svarog simp. But, but it's true. What else is there to say? Take a look at all these good-for-nothings. They'd starve to death without. Damn, it was Farag's biggest fan, apparently. Yo, uh, yo, just settle down and listen to me, you artless little cells. International combustion engine rap champion, 88 degrees bedrock in the house and... Oh. Wait a minute. Are you... What, what, what's happening here? No way. Do I have to go through all of those lyrics? I can't. No. <laughs> Guys, for the first time ever, I'm skipping this. I already got the good version. I don't need this. I'm just going to stay silent. I don't know what that was all about, but she's trying to steal. Wow, she actually has the name above her head. If one of those lyrics is on the test, I'm going to be fuming. You really expected me to listen and verbalize that entire thing. Protocol initiating scanning. Ugh. I'm so sick of repeating this. I just realized the irritated robot. What the hell? What did this bucket of bolts just say? <laughs> he's saying that he's feeling emotions and he's really angry. <laughs> Seems like this one's got a temper. Ugh, let's get this over with. Did you get your first certification? Yes. If not, then you're wasting your time. You mean this? Here, look. We got it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Here comes your question. All right. Riddle me this. A microcrystalline unit should be connected to which component? It depends which one was the one I was supposed to listen to. I'm going to say the operating brake module because that's what the first guy said. And he seemed to really know what he was talking about. Wrong. Congratulations. What do you mean congratulations? That's rude. Simple question. Terrible answer. It's back to school for you. Ugh. 
Can I smash this can opener already? Ha! You wanna go? You caught me in a bed. Wait! If we turn you into scrap metal, we still get our certification. Wait, right? hold on, wait up! I was not expecting a fight. Oh, man. Unlucky. Well, at least we get to use Ting Yun for the first time and just see how she plays, I guess. Oh, that was clean. All right, you know what? Give me Gamba, please. I need it in my life. Let's go. Bop. Hey, there we go. GG, boys. Wait, have mercy. <laughs> I'm sorry. One certification coming right up. Oh, man, that's all we have to do? We just had to use deadly force to get what we want. <laughs> Now we're talking. Okay, please extend your right hand. Marge, put your hand out. Me again? It hurts, you know. That's fine. You got us into this mess. Uh, ow. There you are. Only one more to go. Hmm. All righty. Stamp certification level two. Stamp certification level three. I prage. Beep, beep. Whatever the case, we'll need it to identify our certifications. Hmm. There's something wrong with this one. Oh. Oh. Yo, free? Protocol. Nish, 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 nish. <laughs> nish, 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 nish. <laughs> Yay! Easy clap, boys. Initialization failure. Attempting system restoration. Uh oh. Not encouraging. System restoration failure. Core module damaged. External threat detected. Wait, another fight? Threat elimination activated. Initializing combat module. Okay, you know what? It is what it is. <laughs> Finally, no more racking our brains. Alrighty. <laughs> Who invited you? Attack buff. Okay, so actually, I want to see. Increase attack by 77 points. Gain speed after using ultimate. Sheesh. Big Gamba. Come on. Ah, that's my first time I didn't get it. That's okay. We're gaming. <laughs> Learn how to behave now. Let me try and reset its system. Certification system online. Please extend your right hand. Okay. <sighs> Why is it always me? <laughs> I'm glad that I had her March do it in the second one. Ah, ah, ah. How come it hurt even more than the other two? At least that's the final step. We can get in now, right? Sparrow's certification system is no match for us. Nice. This better work. Let's get back to the gate and give it a go. All right, there we go. Level three confirmed. Sampo, this better work. <clears throat> Ooh, it worked. All right, there you go. She did it right this time. See, not so bad having Sampo on the team after all, huh? Right? No, no. Chief Oleg knew all along that I... You could be just trying to butter us up with this. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. I'll commend you to the Chief. No need to waste your time. Let me issue a warning now. Everything from here on out is uncharted territory. We must proceed with the utmost caution. Now to set the record straight with Sparog. Let's get in there. All righty. Dude, did anyone hear what i just said uh, a gate another one it looks like this gate has a more complicated structure than oh the last my one. god sampo what is this he left watch sampo i mean he did say that it's uncharted where is he it's uncharted territory from here so he probably didn't know where did he run off to he was just here a second ago <sighs> this isn't the first time oh it's that same type of robot again. Uh, Please don't tell me there's another round of processing. Visitors for Zvarog detected. Protocol initiating. Hold on. Verifying. Who's a good boy? Who's our certification? We just want to see your master. <laughs> I'll try that one. Oh, good plan. Treat the robots like guard dogs. <laughs> Thank you, March. I appreciate at least one of you enjoyed that. Zila is not impressed on the other hand. How is that going to improve our chances? All right, never mind. No one actually liked that but me. Certification failure. Subject has yet to obtain access permissions. Okay. Request rejected. Visitors must acquire access permissions from Miss Clara. Yeah, Clara, can you help us out? Oh, the girl we saw in the Great Mine? We need to get permissions from her? What's she got to do with this? Yeah, she's Farag's family. Family. <gasps> huh. Weird. Oh, no. Don't trouble yourself about it. We need to find her. She's like, family, I wonder what that's like. I don't know if this will work, but it's worth a try. Where is Clara right now? Obtaining audio data. Oh. Please wait. Are you just telling me? The energy core is bearing component is broken. If we don't repair it soon, the settlement will be pitch black. Timmy, 
I'm going back to Rivet Town. Maybe I can recover some usable components. You need to guard the gate while I'm gone. Oh. Timmy. Recording recovery complete. Hold on. <laughs> Resuming execution of Clara's commands. Timmy's in Honkai Star Rail? <laughs> Timmy has transcended. She went back? We were just there. Sounds like we better head over again. I love how she names all the robots. Wait, you guys went sightseeing in another town? Um, it wasn't as fun as you think. That town was dangerous, lurking in every corner. We should go and find Clara. That little girl heading into the Fragmentum all by herself? Ugh, doesn't bear thinking about. Oh. Her strength belies her appearance, but even so... <laughs> you don't look so tough yourself. Oh. Well... Let's find her. Svarog's not going anywhere. Damn. I'd be like, what do you mean by that? What's that supposed to mean? Uh, this is a big town. Wow, we're back. Where should we start? Clara said she was going to find components, right? Let's start with Nat's storage room. Wow, I was not expecting to come back here. All right. Oh, these mobs over here respawned. <gasps> Hold up. Found your weakness. Yo, we got one of these freaking special pigs. All right, Ting Yun, let's see. Who do I want to use this on? I'll use this on her. Good omens. I just won. Let's go. Energy and damage. Everything is ordained by the stars. And then everyone gets a boost from her. Oh, profound secrets of the stars. Jeez. Give these trailblazers your blessing. Big speed boosts. You love to see it. This is going to be tough. Hmm. Gamba, please. Nice. Okay. Yo, you see that break effect? Bop! Holy moly, get him! Freeze and victory! <laughs> oh my god. Good lord. Easy clap. Let's go. Ooh, dirty ribbon tied to. Wait a minute! Did that kid's sister turn into a pig? Oh no. A white ribbon stained beyond recognition by an unknown filth. A bell is pinned to the end of the delicate woven fabric. It's chiming, guiding the blind girl through the darkness. That familiar crisp bell. Big sis, are you back? It's the music box. It's the music box reference from Bloodborne. I think I'm going to return this to the girl before I go any further, honestly. This is not going to be nice. She's like, where's my big sister? I'm going to be like, uh, she turned into a pig that I had to kill for premium currency to hit the gotcha. I know you don't understand any of that, but trust me, it comes in clutch when I'm looking to gamble. Oh my God, this is not good. She told me she was going to a place known as the Fragmentum. Okay. Does this ring any bell? All right. Keep the puns at the door. Okay, this is kind of an emotional moment. Ah, the sound of the bell. That familiar crisp chime. Big sis, are you back? Ah, an ominous air. No, no, how could this be? Big sis, have you finally abandoned me? The already weak sobbing fades away gradually. A warm light behind the window is as dim as dusk. You try rapping on the window for a response, but are only greeted by a deathly silence. When you try to leave, you notice an exquisite music box by the shadow of the windowsill. Oh! This is literally Bloodborne! Dude, that is so incredible. They like weaved in so many references of like other things, other pop culture references, other game references. Creaky springs turn and you hear the esquinchal jostlings of tired mechanical switches and cogs sing an eerie melody. No fucking way no way i got a music box dude in before i can use this during a boss fight a small handcrafted music box though kept under good care for many years it has fallen into a state of disrepair the melody produced by the golden box is somewhat unsettled nevertheless it was cherished by the two girls who relied on each other like sisters welcome home oh my goodness i thought the reference would end there with the unfortunately the sister Sister passing it seems but to go an extra step further and be like hey here's a music box that probably reminds you of another music box from another popular video game series that is so freaking cool some people in chat are saying that i can continue with the bloodborne music box quest line i have to leave the area to reload the map and then go back to where the pig was so i'm gonna do that right now all right so we are gonna head back to where we fought the pig which was behind that one house with the gate and uh somebody or something should be there to signify 
and maybe the sister that we got the bell off of. All right, so it's right around here. You just go through this gate, and I think it's over... <gasps> oh, shit. There actually is somebody here. Anxious woman, is this the sister? <gasps> Wait, is she actually alive? What the hell happened? Did the pig run off with the bell and I just thought that she turned into the pig? My little sister, she ran away from home. I've looked everywhere for her, but I can't find her. She's always been frail and her eyes can't see. Whatever would I do if something happened to her out there? Oh, I'm a failure of a big sister to let such a thing happen. The girl before you looks very anxious. Does this ring any bell? Okay, leave the puns at home, please. This is super serious. Serious. We got to give her the music box now. <laughs> this is our music box. Listen, my darling sister, how pleasing. Welcome. Go home. Oh, shit. Hold on. A faint smile of comfort lines her draining visage. In an instant, that smile fades and dissolves along with her person into the fragmentum. Another echo of the cadence lost to the fragmentum. Oh, shit. Outworlders. Whoa, hold on. We got an achievement. Return the music box found in Rivet City to its heartbroken owner. Wow. That was pretty somber, honestly. At first, I was like, oh, super cool, hype, epic Bloodborne reference. And now I'm like, this is just as depressing as that game. Isn't this the robot that was following Clara around? These can openers all look the same. How can you tell them apart? Shh about to say something Listen. oh yeah we got this little guy initializing self-repair module initialization failure wait what happened to perkins what the hell i thought this was like a random robot clara in danger uh-oh yo who did my boy perkins dirty like this in danger what do you mean workshop target must be in Oh my god. Yeah, Sample? Sample Koski, where are you? Does it mean that a monster appeared over at the workshop? Clara. All right, she... Sample just disappeared at the perfect time. She's in danger. Oh no. Quick, let's head over to the workshop and check it out. I know the way. What the hell? Clara, I got you. I was like, where the hell did this monster there, come from? There's something big over there. And, and there's Clara. Oh, you better hope Mr. Sfarag doesn't come through and freaking beat your shit into the earth. Let's go. No need to fear. We have the numerical advantage. Yeah, no need to fear. The trash blazer is here. All right, Clara, you need to be protected at all We're costs. Yo, Mr. Sparog's gonna be heated. All right, so let's do this. A thousand wonders to raise your Let's do spirit. this and this, and then let's put that on her. Fight is one. Let's go. Yeah, Ching Chu is basically my DPS on this team. <laughs> let's go! The big damage. Hell yeah. All right, we're good. We're good. We got this. We're gamers. Hey, the big fish. Holy canola. Look at this, man. I love how you can pause like these crazy particle effects. This shit looks so cool. Now we just clean up. There we go. Easy. Sheesh. Clara. Are you okay, Clara? Thanks, everyone. I'm fine. Just a few scratches. You shouldn't be running around by yourself. It's too dangerous. What are you looking for here? I mean, she had Perkins, but Perkins got bodied. There is a fault with one of the energy supply units at the base. If I don't repair it soon, everyone at the settlement will be affected. I knew there was a workshop in this town, so I wanted to try my luck here. I found all the components I need. Mm. Then I ran into a monster. You guys saved me. I'll tell Mr. Svarog about Yo, Mr. Svarog, you owe us one. Speaking of Mr. Svarog. We were planning on paying him a visit. What do you need to see him for? I can pass him a message. No. Uh-oh. This time, we need to set things straight with him face to face. Oh, dear. Can you take us to meet him? Mr. Svarog doesn't like talking to others, especially wildfire. <laughs> Don't I know it. <laughs> but he's evaded communication with us for too long. This time, we have to see him. I know you're working hard for the people down here, but Mr. Svarg doesn't trust human emotions. He only trusts his calculation results. I mean, he trusts you. I can't take you to see him. If Mr. Svarg and you had a fight, 
someone would get hurt for sure. Maybe even bystanders. Listen, kid, you- Whoa, chill out. Clara, you said it yourself before, right? Svarag's duty is to protect the underworld and preserve the civilization here. We have the same wish. Why would he refuse to cooperate with us? <laughs> I love how, like, whenever Zila is just off the deep end, like, Bronya just kind of brings her back down and, like, neutralizes things. I know, Mr. Svarag. He isn't affected by other people's wishes. He only follows logical judgments. Terrible things are happening on this world. Mr. Svarok thinks that the overworld will end soon. Mm. According to his calculation results, the strength of the underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. Oh, he might be referring to like the Stellaron. His plan is to keep the underworlders away from the source of the disaster so they can survive for longer. Isn't that just putting us in a cave? It's ridiculous. What difference does it make if our death gets postponed a couple of days? How is that better than putting up a fight? See it as returning the favor. Yeah, at this point, we saved I'll you. I'll definitely return the favor, but not like this. Damn it. If you don't mind, I still have important things to do. I'll go back now. All right. Well, I thought that was going to work Clara, out. It's no use, Zila. She's made up her mind. I could tell from her expression. You will have to think of another way. How about we repair Perkins? That's That's no ordinary kid. So young and yet so stubborn? No, intelligent? <laughs> She's incisive and determined. In sharp contrast to you, March. Okay, Don Hug, that she didn't need that. Did you really have to add that last part? He's just being a jerk. It looks like we'll have to get past Clara if we want to speak to Svarok. Is there any other way? If we circumvent Clara and the gate. Svarag will only identify us as intruders. He'll be even more likely to give us the cold shoulder. Isn't a robot shoulder cold to begin with? <laughs> I really love these characters. Clara mentioned Svarag's calculation results many times. The strength of the Underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. Those were her exact words. Mm. For me, that's our starting point. Yeah, because if we include us, we're not under or overworlders. We'll be able to change things. So you think Svarog's logic has a hole in it? No, his calculation is correct. At its current strength, it is highly unlikely that Wildfire would be able to resolve the problems stemming from the Stellaron. However, that calculation didn't take the present situation into account. Mm. There's a new variable yet to be added. Holy to the shit, Don Hung Ten Head. We're the new variable. Exactly. Precisely. If we can make Svarag believe in us, we can almost certainly overturn the result <laughs> oh, of this calculation, and we'll be one step closer to peace. All right, we're gonna talk no jutsu this man. But how can we get him to do that? <laughs> Showing him some of our photos wouldn't cut it, right? There's always a way. Mm. First, we have to convince Clara. I assume she must be on her way back to the robot settlement. Let's catch up with her. All right, let's do it. She turned that way. Oh, Wait. shit. Okay, there she is. Damn, we're really chasing down Clara right now. As far as catches wind, our goose is cooked. Is that his house over there? Yo, man's got a nice looking crib, it seems. Whoa, that's a different mob. I've never searing okay that's level 32 that is questionable i don't know if i'm strong enough to fight that. also i think i need to put don hung in my party because all these enemies have like wind element weakness i'll do sampo because don hung's 30 he's a little extra right now good old sampo koski wish me luck please i need it i'm gonna need it i'll hit him with that and then i'll go in with the ult that's a cool design though Oh dear. Heal everybody. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Please. Please. No bueno. During a boss fight? How could you? To betray my customers. I charge extra. <laughs> yeah, you hear that? That means Sam Pokoski will abandon his friends for the right price, which means he's not to be trusted. Mania. Okay, hold on. What the hell was that? Speed by a hundred. Attack by twenty increases. Oh dear. I'm really hoping this doesn't kill me. Oh my god. And then he goes in two more turns. Oh Arlen. Oh Arlen. I'm so sorry, my boy. Actually, you might kill right here. Let's get it. 
Holy shit. Oh, I got an achievement. <laughs> Defeat an enemy when a character has less than 1% of HP left. Holy shit. I don't even have a health bar. Well, how much health does he have? It said 1 HP before the battle ended. Oh my god. Wait, will I die? <laughs> 1 HP. Chat, we might have a problem here. You know why? Because Natasha doesn't go until after the two enemies go. So, uh, this is probably a great time to wonder how do you use food? Can you use food during fights? No? Mistakes were made. Okay, RNG. Let's fucking go. Arlen lives to fight another day. That's better. Oh my god, that was way too scary. I fucked around, dude. I almost found out. <sighs> Holy crap. Oh, wait, wait, no. Okay. Is that all you got? If that enemy did not blow up their shield, I would have just wasted Arlen's ult because you can't cancel ults in the game. Hoyoverse, if you ever watch this, please fix that. That's like a must-have quality of life improvement that needs to happen. What is this thing? Repair. Okay, I feel like if I repair this, this guy is going to wake up. Hold on. What the hell is this? Like a freaking reactor. What is this? Oh, damn. This is some galaxy brain freaking play I have to do here. There we go. Oh, no, it just unlocks the chest. Cool. All right, so this is the route that I should have originally gone on. It pays to discover. Huh? Where'd she go? We just saw her go this way. We'll just have to head straight and keep looking. It's called follow the freaking icon marker March 7th. Are you not a gamer? Yo, General Mills is back for round two. Wow, Arlen's the only one that can shield break. Oh, man, this is so rough. Yeah, this has potential to be kind of rough for me. Oh, good lord. Okay, you know what? Nah, it's all good. Arlen's the goat. Arlen's literally gonna carry me. Bruh! What is happening here? Hold on. What's all this nonsense going on? Deals 50% more damage to your team. This cannot be removed by other buffs. What are my characters affected by? Can only select Automaton Grizzly as the target. Oh, great. They're taunted. All right. <gasps> Five HP in a dream. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Arlen's gonna go to one HP right now. Bro, I'm living on a razor's edge right now. This is actually kind of insane. Mm. Oh, so he's gonna do the ground slam attack now. I just forgot when Arlen uses, I think when he uses his skill or his ult, he takes off a debuff. So he doesn't have the debuff anymore. I just realized that. And we'll pray. Oh my god, we won. Thank goodness. I was like, Prage. The heavens answered my prayer. Oh, hold on. Can I grab this real quick? Hey, thank you. Appreciate it, game. <laughs> Why won't it? Clara's gonna be like, didn't I already tell you no? Like, stop annoying me. I can't figure it out. Oh, it's you. You came with me after all. You're the underground's only hope. You keep saying that, but... Are you repairing this installation, Clara? Hit a snack? It's like, hey, we'll help you if you do something for us. How did you know? The dimensions and wear of these two roller components look very different from the rest of the unit. You must have only just replaced them. Hmm. You replaced the damage components, but the unit isn't starting up as normal. That's what you're trying to figure out. Good job, right? Don Hung. Yeah. I fixed a lot of things before, but I never had to repair one as complicated as this. Why isn't Sparlog helping you? <laughs> I don't want to disturb him. This installation was accidentally damaged by two of the vagrants. If Mr. Sparlog finds out, uh -oh. they'll get in big trouble. Was it really an accident? You know, Clara, if you're too kind, people can take advantage of you. True. I think I found the source of the problem. You replaced the rollers, but the bearing is causing a jam. And there's a misalignment. You two, give me a hand. We should be able to fix it between us. Good shit, Don Hung. More fixing? I'm getting good at this. <laughs> Mars 7 is like, I like helping. All right, let's repair. Just like Can the other really one. fix this? Relax. We got this. Right, Don Hung? Less asking, more helping. Let's activate my big brain. There we go. That'll do it. Woohoo! It lit up. Yo, it's lit, fam. We hardly lifted a finger. So, the settlement's energy supply problem is solved for the time being? Yes. 
the people on the outskirts don't need to worry about heat or light now. There you go. Um... Um... We're not trying to win you over. I understand. You helped a lot of injured people in the mine, and you risk going into the town for supplies. You're good people. If there's any other way I can help you, mm. I'll do my best. But this... How are we going to convince her? Point out the variable. Yeah, I think pointing out us is the variable. The variable is... Uh, our arrival! No outsiders set foot in the underground for over a decade. True. Clara, you're observant, right? Take a look at us. Do we look like underworlders? Well, uh... <laughs> You do look very different from other people. Right! That's because we're not from here. We've never been a factor in Svarog's calculations. And if those calculations are based solely on the strength of the Underworlders, then the results don't apply to the present situation. Yeah, Mr. Svarog, there's an error in your calculations, buddy. When did Svarog start doing his calculations, Clara? It was a long time ago. Oh, wow. The same time the Underworld was sealed off, I think. Circumstances have changed since then. There's a silver main guard down here now. Is that part of Svarog's calculation? Not to mention we're... Completely separate variables? Just tell her already. We come from a different planet. Yeah, sure, I guess. You tell him, March. There's just no way that Svarog's calculations would have included variables like us. Different planet? Don't treat me like a child. Uh, Those are just made-up stories that grown-ups like to tell. Hey, we'll take you on the ship if you want. They're not made up. In other worlds, people People have already conquered the hep uh we haven't gotten to that part yet okay we're only in version 3.6 of genshin impact don't actually lie to the girl they're not made up in before we go to tavat <laughs> tavat's one of the worlds ladies and gentlemen branya do you really i know how you feel clara you want new hope for the underground but you don't want anyone to get hurt in the process <laughs> right i also have doubts but my gut tells me that March, Dan, Hung, and she, they are the new hope this world has been waiting for. Let them meet Svarag, and let's see if his calculation result is any different. Mm. For you, for him, there's no harm in trying, right? Mm. You've already seen our abilities. We will bring change to this world. Come on. I... <sighs> Woo! Okay, I'll take you to see Mr. Svarag. Let's go. I hope he's not upset. Awesome. Mm. <laughs> I understand now. Trying to change Mr. Svarog's mind on my own would take forever. <coughs> Even if I kept trying until I was all grown up, I don't think I could do it. And all the while, people would be getting sick, mm. losing their homes, and fighting, just like in the mine. I don't want that to happen. If you guys really believe that you can convince Mr. Svarog, then... I need to be brave too. Yeah, let's go. Everyone, follow me. Ugh, oh, I love Ronya. her to bits. I didn't know you'd stick up for us like that back there. Well said. It was nothing. I just said what I truly felt. All right, enter Svarog's base with Clara's help. Let's get it. We got a robot meeting. We have a little gatekeeper over here as well. I'm back, Timmy. Oh yeah, little Timmy. Welcome back, Miss Clara. <laughs> Timmy, open the gate, please. I want to see Mr. Svarog. Outsiders detected. Do you wish to permit access? It's okay. Okay, they're all my guests. Command received. Access restriction terminal unlocked. I love this. Welcome back, Miss Clara and guests. Hello. If you can, please try not to upset Mr. Svarog. Yeah, no promises. It's okay, Clara. We're here to reason with him. I'll leave negotiations to you guys. They're <laughs> not my strong point. Yeah, she's like, I'll stay quiet. Negotiating with robots. I can't say I've tried it before. Are you ready? Uh, let's do it. All right. Oh, shit, he's up. Seems like he's been waiting for us, not the other way around. I'm back, Mr. Svarog. Why is this a boss arena? <laughs> I see that the energy supply system is back online. Thank you, Clara. Oh, dear. But why have you brought them? Oh, no. Mr. Svarog, they want to talk to you about going to the surface. <laughs> what have I said, Clara? Analyzing. Analysis result. Target does not belong to wildfire. Mm-hmm. Background. Unknown. Mm-hmm. Classification. Unknown. Exactly. You have arrived on Clara's recommendation. I will give you an opportunity to speak. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're so kind. Oh, uh, hey. Sounds like he's willing to communicate. Quick, time to smooth talk him. Uh, to be or not to be. <laughs> this is no time for jokes. We're here to talk about the future of the underground. An inadequate pretext. You are not from the underground. 
Yep. You have no right to represent the underworld humanity. Okay, we're off to a terrible start. He sees right through me. Proceed with your central point. Do not waste this world's valuable time. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, he cut you off completely. This guy. Okay. Should I have trolled him? Stay focused. We have to make him see that we're a variable in the calculation. Dude, I have no confidence. We're a variable. <laughs> Think before opening your mouth. Okay, I'm literally stupid. We're here about a Stellaron. Stellaron. March 7th is chewing me alive right now. Searching database. Access denied. Discussing Stellaron with unauthorized targets. Uh oh. Prohibited. Mm, Nani? You are broaching a secret that lies at the heart of this world. A secret that should remain unknown to humanity. Well, we've already told a bunch of people, so. Reassessing targets. <gasps> Threat index raised. I demand that you reveal your true intention. Hold on. I thought we were here to talk the peace. As expected, he knows of the Stellaron, uh... but it's a restricted topic. We've come this far. Out with it already. Just be straight with him. Everything depends on it. Okay. <laughs> we want to bring this world's disaster to a close. Please, Mr. Sfarog. Historical records state that humanity has already made multiple efforts to engage with the Stellaron without exception. Oh. These efforts have been motivated by human greed, attempts to secure the article for a selfish end. Damn. So basically he's like, yeah, you humans tried that before. Shame on you. I'm not going to let that happen again. As instructed by the architects any attempt to engage with the stellaron will result in grave consequences uh oh reassessing <laughs> target threat index critical he's like i have to kill you by the way <laughs> uh, what should we do this is going from bad to worse your powers of calculation suck he doesn't give a shit about our opinion we're not like him yeah i'm not like those other trash blazers okay i'm different both of these sound completely pathetic options i'm gonna choose the calculation one you're stupid mr Target hostility significantly exceeds base index Calculation result remains unchanged. All right, he's basically like, yeah, that didn't change my mind. Peacekeeping protocol temporarily disengaged. Requesting extermination protocol launch. Clara, you better watch out. Get out of the way. E extermination in the literal sense? Oh, shit. March, prepare for combat. Yo, my character looks pissed right now. Mr. Sparog, please don't. Leave, Clara. You know what? If I die by Mr. Sparog, that's a good way to go out. Clara dangerous here find somewhere to hide looks like we have to take action after all fuck i also don't know if my current team is enough for this man prototype number three monitoring automaton svarag extermination protocol launch successful annihilation permitted <laughs> He got the okay. He got the kill order. All right. Well, this is unfortunate. Holy shit. Annihilation. Executing operation. Uh. Oh, what a badass. Look at this guy. This music. <laughs> this is so hype. He's just standing there like menacingly. He's like, I dare you to try me. All right. So we have wind, fire. Yo, this just building up. I love how that did 1% damage. Be silent. <laughs> Please do not attack Arlen, I prage. Ooh, we got the full combo. Three damage. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Please stop this battle. I do not want to fight you anymore, please. I beg. <laughs> Oh my. How can you put up your best fight without a doctor? Natasha, please. Okay, well, you were already in the fight, but thank fucking God the doctor, the doctor's here. All of you, stay focused. I'm right behind you. Holy shit. Sampo went to go get the doctor? Guys, I can't be deceived again. I can't be like, Sampo, I should have never doubted you because what if I let my guard down? Nat, how did you... Guess you guys had a bad talk, huh? Luckily, Sampo... Sampo's got your back. Sampo's always looking out for his friends. Sampo, 
I knew you'd be involved somehow. Base breached. Armed wildfire personnel detected. Uh-oh. Assessing. He's gonna be on a freaking warpath. All subjects are high-risk individuals. Commencing complete annihilation. What if Clara gets in between them? He won't attack Clara, right? Like, what if Clara just, like, convinces him to change that much? Or not. What if it just gets worse? Executing annihilation. Look. Oh, my God. Executing operation. <sighs> Please, Sparog, I can't do this. All right, we're gonna hit him with that. Everyone else too. Is that all you got? Let me pay you back tenfold. Bop. Bop. Yo, 69 HP. Nice. Same Pokaski. Push forward. Analysis complete. What the hell is that? Evaluating variables. Oh! I learned your lesson. What do you mean imprisoned? He just yoinked my teammate. <laughs> oh my God. I love how Chain Chu's not gonna get healed because she's not on my side. God damn, I was not expecting that. Nice, there we go. Okay. Oh, did I break him? God damn it. I need to time these breaks a little better. Well, you know what they say, the gamba giveth and the gamba taketh away. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. I'm so close though, I'm at 13. I'm so close, I'm so close, I'm so close, I'm so close. All right, we got this gamers, we're goaded. You would with the one HP nonsense, get out of here. We broke you and we took you down to zero. Sampo Koski always looks out for his friends. Natasha? Please, please don't hurt Mr. Sparrow. Oh. I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to hurt Mr. Clara. Sparrow. I didn't want to hurt Clara. I literally was just like, can we just talk, please? Mr. Sparrow can't fight anymore. Please don't hurt him. He's a badass, too. Come on, man. Clara. Mr. Sparrow, don't push yourself any further. Aww. Can you tell them what you know? Bro, Natasha was really about to kill this man. To be fair, he attacked first. That's okay. I'll water under the bridge. Mr. Sparrow, you said you were willing to make all my wishes come true. Mm. My, my biggest wish right now is for everyone to work together like family. Recently, I learned something new. Calculation results can't always bring people happiness. Even if the world outside the cage is beautiful, people still want to know what it's like. Come on. Assessment system reset. Successful. Processing variables. Variable one, Clara's request. Ooh. Variable two, outsider's intentions. Updated assessment result. Transference of decision-making authority to outsiders. Outsiders are granted access to Stellaron intelligence. Hey guys, if a robot can change, so can you. No excuses. So we did it? Thanks to Clara. Yeah, without her, even if we defeated Sparog, there's no way he'd have given us access to the intel. I was just about right? to say that. This was literally a W because of Clara. I hope his memory bank really does contain data on the Stellaron. Is this it, Nat? Us? Wildfire? The Underworld? Did we win? No, Zila. Mm. Our battle, their battle, it's just beginning. Remember, we gotta get to the main plot, Madame Kakolia. I hope Svarag is gonna be okay. I really do. We finally made it to this point. What's up? Nervous? Hmm. No, but I do have an aching feeling in my chest. The truth can be heartbreaking. I'm ready. Reveal the truth. I'm listening. Aw, oh, bro. I feel like my mind's about to be blown. Half the Wizard of Oz. Hold on. Yo, we actually Ruby boys? Ozpin? Is that you? Defeat the... We just fought Ironwood. <laughs> Defeat the Tin Man and the Little Girls. Farag and Clara became your friends. Let's go. I love the references so much. Yo, look at this man's crib. This place looks dope. Imagine we can actually just run up into his house. That'd be kind of cool. Look at that. That's quite a picture. I approve. Alrighty, Mr. Farag, show me the truth of this world. Literally. I have finished collating the Stellaron data and records. Do you wish to proceed? Outsiders. Let's have it. Requesting database materials cache. Serial number 13175. Encryption level highest. Damn. Request approved. Transmission. Okay, here we go. This is the fruit of many years.
years of research, Madam Guardian. Who? The evidence is irrefutable. This so-called Stellaron is so uh -oh. of all the destruction. That's Madam Cacolia back in the day, it seems. The people will struggle to accept this conclusion, Doctor. If we were to tell them that the almighty Elisa Rand activated this thing and triggered the eternal freeze. Alicia? Is that Madam Cacolia's daughter? It's or the old the guardian. Truth, Madam. The truth won't change with the opinions of the people. The reports before you are the precious result of painstaking effort on the part of Bellabog's greatest scholars. You must trust the weight of its conclusion. This is probably the ancestors, not like the current people that are running things. Alicia's the first guardian. I see. Okay. I thought it was maybe like Kakolia's mom or something. I don't know how far back this recording goes. But Mr. Sfarog is like hundreds of years old. So this could be like the first recorded history of like when stuff started happening happening i have never doubted you doctor on the contrary i am resolute in the face of this conclusion yeah because like everything started happening like 700 years ago from the moment i took up this mantle that voice their voice mm. has made its home in my mind i cannot shake them oh shit this is like a generational thing it's just been happening for every guardian i shouldn't be telling you this let's return to your research doctor uh-oh i'm afraid i cannot make these reports known to the public unless unless please proceed madam unless you have found a way to completely destroy the stellar nope you just gotta put it in a little receptacle i understand in the name of preservation, I will fulfill this mission. Preservation. Cache number 13175. Transmission complete. Interesting. Next transmission. Cache number 24830. I don't understand, Doctor. <sighs> Why do we have to hide such valuable research results <sighs> away? Oh my god. They're the work of a lifetime. Is this the same researcher? He's already old. You're still young, child. There will come a day. A day. Jesus. When you do understand. So I guess this is another, like, ancestor down the line. This supreme guardian, she sees further than you or I. Her decisions are not for the security of Bellabog. It's a shame. Our research has hit an obstacle. Meanwhile, your results will be buried in the snow. All that work for nothing? Don't be upset, child. You, you still have lots of time ahead of you. Mm. When you find a way to destroy, <laughs> destroy nope. the Stellaron. Oh, I see. So is this like his protege? He's the researcher. He's lived to the end of his life. So someone's taking over and now it's her job to do what he was trying to do. And it didn't work. All these researchers just lived and died trying to stop this thing. Cash number 24830. Transmission mm. complete. Next transmission. Cache number five seven six one four. Oh my God! A robot here. Uh, someone's batteries are depleting. That's not good. During his life, this was Doctor Mearsheimer's personal robot bodyguard. I heard it's a prototype from the Great War. Oh shit! Since the doctor and his assistants passed away, it's remained here. It hasn't moved an inch. Oh damn! Is this. I see. Let's start. We must unearth the doctor's research conclusions. All of them. I'm kind of wondering if this is like the recording overlay or if this is Mr. Sfarog's overlay. Like, is that his battery life depleting? Madam Guardian, I've found them. All the documents are here. This must be Sfarog that they found. Right, that'll do. Madam Guardian, what should we do with the robot? <laughs> Throw it in the underground. It would seem a great waste to destroy it. Find someone to reset its system. Yeah and then arrange for it to be sent to the underworld. Yep. I hear that the development group is in need of a robot with defense capabilities. Wow, Mr. Sparog. Yes, madam. I'm sorry, doctor, but these results must be taken care of by the architects. One day, somebody will be able to carry out your behest. Cash number 57614. Wow. Transmission complete. Concluding data transmission. So, the truth is clear now. Right? Yeah, Bronya. We were looking for a way to destroy the Stellaron. And it would appear that they never succeeded. Yeah. Now only one question remains. Why would Kokolia exhibit such a sudden change in her attitude towards us? Because she knows that we're here for it. Bronya, are you okay? I'm, I'm fine. I just feel a little faint. This must be a lot to take in for you. Why? Maybe, maybe she wasn't aware. Maybe she... I'm sorry. It's no use lying to yourself, Branya. It's time for you to make a decision. <laughs> you gotta confront your mom as an underworlder at that. Hey, 
Can I have a word with you? I know that we'll need time to process this new information, but we have to decide on our next plan as soon as possible. Let me talk to these two first. Mr. Svarog, are you okay? Let me repair your language module first. Mr. Svarog, you're so freaking tall, my camera can barely pick up all of you. Assessing language module operating as normal. Oh. Thank you, Clara. There you go. Did your memory module get damaged? Maybe I can fix that too. Retrieving memory module. Architect machine error records. Intact. Ooh. War of Defense Combat Data. Intact. Okay. Geomero Development Group Error Records. Intact. Record of Clara's crafting of miniature magnetic drill rigs. Intact. <laughs> Record of Clara's explanation of human sleeping in behavior. Intact. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> so your memory module is okay. I have made a backup of all records pertaining to you, Clara. Ah. He's like, even if I forget everything, I'll remember you. That's so sweet. Even the one about sleeping in? Especially the one about sleeping in. There are multiple backups. I can recover them at any time. <laughs> My heart, dude. I can't. Mr. Svarog, can I delete some of them? <laughs> I cannot grant this request. <laughs> Records pertaining to you constitute important data, Clara. Uh, they must remain intact. But they're embarrassing. No can do. They are memories of family. I understand. I can't, dude. I can't deal with this right now. This is too good. Mr. Svarog? I still want to help you check a few other modules. Turn around a little. Ah, uh, I love you. I love both of them so much. At daybreak, the guardian shall be a glittering star, illuminating the people's path. Nightfall, the guardian shall be a flickering flame, comforting the people's soul. Damn, Bronia's literally going through it. Ah, uh, so many years. Have I been following lies this whole time? Hey, maybe you should find someone to talk to. <laughs> but you're someone. Hey. <laughs> Don't let it get you down. You can share your feelings with others, you know? Do you think keeping it all to yourself is doing you any good? You let that status of yours go to your head, huh? Afraid to show weakness? That's why you're keeping so much bottled up inside, right? This isn't the overworld. I don't do envy and etiquette down here. Hmm. Whatever's on your mind, you can say it. I just want to be clear in myself first. These fragments of history, the teachings I see. Studied. It's all muddled together in my mind. I don't know what I should believe. Believe in yourself. No, you just have to be clear on what you should do. You've spent long enough living in lies, Branya. This is your chance to break out of the cage. <sighs> Damn, Zila's spitting straight facts. I can't deny. Sam Pokoski, what's going on, my dude? You saved our ass. Why? How's it going, partner? Is that feeling in your chest the thrill of victory or just the joy of making it out alive? <laughs> I know your heart is bursting with gratitude, but there's no need to thank me. We have what I'd like to call a fiscal friendship. Uh-huh. Money's right, not a problem inside. <laughs> I don't know if I like that. When did you call reinforcements? Ha! I knew that you get yourselves into trouble eventually, so I got Oleg to send relief in advance. Mm. Pretty sensible, right? I'm asking why you went behind our backs. My assignment was simply to take you to Svarog's lair. I got the payment and delivered the goods. I wasn't obligated to tell you about my dinner plans. <laughs> <laughs> but I threw in something extra regardless. I only did that because we're friends, or I would have charged extra. Here's a slice of life experience for you. Resourceful businessmen never get into risky trading without a plan B. And a plan B for their plan B. <laughs> plan C, we call that. You seem to enjoy muddying the waters. Hey now, you got me all wrong. I just enjoy watching people fight. That's all. <laughs> Fierce words, fists flying. What's not to like? Yeah, he likes drama. Thank you, Sampo. Easy there. Don't get mushy on me now. We professional types don't have time for thank yous. It's business. Feelings don't come into it. Why do you hide <laughs> your feelings? <laughs> you see? Gotcha! <laughs> Seriously, though. Sampo will always be happy to assist you. I really want to learn more about Sampo. He's so enigmatic. I can't figure him out. I can't read him. The Furnace Core. The path to the surface is close at hand now. Thank you. Mm. What you've done has brought new hope to the underworld. Now, we have to wait and see. Yeah. But maybe this will lead to a new lease on life. Your support came in at the right moment. Thank you. Well, you should really be thanking Sampo. I already did! If it weren't for his intel, we wouldn't have made it in time. All right, thank you, Sampo. I know you love hearing that. As Wildfire's leader, I couldn't simply look on while you fought on our behalf. 
We had to come help. Huh? Uh, so you're the real chief? Whoa! Well, what about Oleg? Yeah, I was about to say, what does she mean as the true leader of wildfire? Like, Nani? Oleg has always acted on my behalf. Bruh. He helps me deal with all manner of problems. What the heck? Out. She's actually in charge? Thanks to him, I'm able to make time for the people. She. I do my best to make sure that they have everything they need. At the same time, I was formulating a plan to deal with Svarog. Mm. Your arrival unraveled that carefully crafted yet rudimentary plan. Damn, what a girl boss. <laughs> and for that, you have my utmost thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. All in a day's work for a hero, I guess. When the underworld recovers its freedom, the people will indeed extol you as heroes. Hmm. However... Even though Svarog is no longer sealing off the furnace core, there's no way that we undergrounders could go pouring onto the surface. So we've dealt with the underground. Now we got to deal with shit upstairs. That cold-blooded Supreme Guardian has used lies and tricks to keep the surface separated from the underground. Yeah. If she detects any change in the underworld, I don't know what she might resort we gotta to. We got to get Japard. As for Wildfire... We need more time to build up our strength. It would be difficult for us to defeat the Guardian alone. Of course, there's no doubt about that. So I'll be sending someone I trust to go with you. Oh! Oh, it's either gonna be Zila or she's sending Hook. All right, Hook is the true goat of the underworld, the leader of the moles. Zila! Didn't she tell you? Oh. In private, she insisted on accompanying you. Okay, well, I guess they're straight up telling us. Don't let her carefree nature fool you. She's actually very discerning and can read a situation like no one else. Zila is a talented scout and a quick thinker. Mm. She takes decisive action. She'll definitely be able to help you. Okay. Not to mention, you also have Branya now. Hell yeah. Oh my god. She got a big shock. You're right. But with Zila by her side... I know she'll recover. Ah, yeah, that's confirmed right there. When's the last time you got some rest? <laughs> I heard that you've been on your feet looking for Sparog since Rivet Town. Yeah, that's been about six hours. Health is everything. You won't be much use if you neglect yours. Let Wildfire take care of the Furnace Core for now. Okay. You head back and recuperate. If you're lucky, perhaps tomorrow you can return to the Overworld. Alrighty. Okay, the seriousness of breakfast. Hey, you know what? The most important meal of the day. Serving it up. Trash blazer way. Hey, it's about time I'm getting all the rewards. Okay. Holy moly, that was a lot of stuff to take in. Svarog and Clara. No cap. These might actually be my favorite characters in the game so far. Like, I'm so sad I don't have them in my game yet. Like, on my account. I absolutely love their dynamic. Hard, aggressive, assertive, dominant, and then sweet, kind, kind caring they're just perfect i love it we are going to take a short intermission here i am going to be continuing on i think i have to finish this quest not good with farewells to unlock my equilibrium level to take myself to uh trailblazer level 30 to unlock world 2 for the simulated universe and to just be able to unlock a bunch of other stuff pertaining to progressing my account i'm going to take a short break right now so we can progress the plot and everything else in between but i hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough series so far and uh, we'll get some more of that in a second.